Hey, I'm Brett. Welcome back to the channel. This is Kodo Kiwi. It's always a pleasure to have you here. So, we're, we're going to be looking over two tools today. Those tools are going to be two Chrome extensions which you can use to identify and grab fonts on a website. So, those two tools that we're going to be dealing with are called Watt Font and Ninja Fonts. Before we get started, I'd really appreciate it if you smash that thumbs up button. We're all about algorithms here and I know that YouTube likes it when you do that. So I'm going to run you through quickly here how we can identify fonts on a website. If you can see here, we're on my website. Now on my website I run probably two different types of fonts. What we're going to do is use these tools to identify them. Now first of all the tools are really easy to download so if you want to find them you can search what font Google Chrome and you can download it here or if you want font ninja you can go font ninja Google Chrome All right so these are the two plugins that we're going to be looking at today and trying out and I'm going to show you exactly what they do so if we go back to the website here we you can see we've already pre-added these to our thing so basically what we're going to do now is we're going to be able to click on this and then any element we hover over is going to tell us what font we've used for that element. If you want to know a bit more, you can end up clicking into the element and see individual styling which is around them. So this is super handy for when you're trying to copy uh, certain styles such as font weights, um, line height, size, basically anything. Okay, so the second Chrome extension we're going to be looking at today is called Font Ninja. Now Font Ninja is a bit more intense than say Watt Font and it actually comes with its own desktop application. The benefit of that is you're actually able to install fonts directly to your computer which means you can use them in, them in your Adobe applications like Photoshop. Alright so back here on our website basically what we're going to do to use Font Ninja is we're going to go up here and we're going to select the, the Chrome extension icon. Now you can pin these to your uh, browser so they're easy to access and basically all you have to do to access this thing is click on it again Now once you clicked on it, you actually have the option to install it if you're using the desktop application Bookmark for later or actually find out more info on it This is a lot more useful than say what font because what font didn't actually give us the option to install a bookmark So this one is really handy if you're wanting to save fonts for later So keep that in mind. All right. I hope that was useful to you I know this was kind of a short video but the point of this video is that we're going to be doing a series of videos which are going to be a bunch of really useful tools that anybody can use to help kind of level up their development skills or their production skills over the next year or pretty much their entire career. Now if you are new here and you'd really like to see more Chrome extensions or more useful plugins that you can use to upskill yourself in 2022 then what you're going to want to do is hit that like button, put your notification bells on and definitely subscribe to this channel because we're going to be going through all of them. We're basically going to go top of the list down to the bottom of the list, but only if they're good because I'm not going to be advertising you guys shit, basically. So if you haven't already, please subscribe, give that thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm because I know YouTube likes it and it always keeps me happy as well. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video. It's been a pleasure as always.